In this video, I'm going to show you a JavaScript function for fuzzy matching that was inspired by a post by Will McGugan at the URL shown here. First, let me show you what we're going for. This page shows a list of book titles below a search box. When we enter text in the search box, the list of titles is filtered. The filtering is done by the order of letters typed in, but they don't have to show up consecutively. So for example, if I type L-O-T, I get Lord of the Flies, The Lord of the Rings, Lolita, The Call of the Wild, etc. Very cool. Let's take a look at the code. The fuzzy match function takes two arguments, text for the text of the list item and search for the user's search string. The first thing the function does is get rid of spaces and lowercase the search string to make for easier comparisons. We then split the text into an array of characters. We then create a variable called search position to keep track of the position of the letter that we're trying to match. Now we loop through the tokens array, lowercasing each character and comparing it to the current search character. When we find a match, we wrap the character in strong tags and assign it back to that position in the tokens array. We then move to the next search position. If that puts us past the last search character, we return false to break out of the loop. For example, if the user entered LOT in the search box and we're comparing that to the call of the wild, the first iteration we compare L to T, both lowercase. We don't get a match, so we compare L to H, still no match. So we keep going until we get to this L. There's a match. So we wrap that L in strong tags and assign it back to that position in the tokens array. We add one to search position, so now we'll be comparing the next L to O. Then we compare the space to O, and then this O to O, and find another match. Again, we wrap it in strong tags and assign it back to that position in the tokens array. We continue to do this until we have looked at all the search characters, at which point we return false to break out of the loop. At the end of the function, we return an empty string if we didn't find anything, or we return the tokens array converted back into a string with a join method. So that's the fuzzy match function. When do we call it? First, let me show you the titles array. Here it is. It's just an array of book titles. We'll come back to this in a minute. This code here runs and calls refresh search as soon as the page loads. It also shows that refresh search should be called every time the user types into the search box. The refresh search function gets the value the user entered and assigns it to a search variable. It then creates an empty results array. It then loops through each of our book titles in the titles array and passes each one to our fuzzy match function along with the search value. If it finds a match, it pushes a new list item into the results array with the match title, which you'll remember has been marked up in strong tags. Once it has checked all the titles, it joins the array elements into a string and inserts the resulting HTML into our results unordered list. So that's how fuzzy match works. Thanks again to Will for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other development articles, mostly related to Python.